The Britney Spears conservatorship calamity lurches into court again in Los Angeles Wednesday with the possibility that some momentous developments might ensue and some decisions might be put off, again. On the court calendar, the hearing scheduled before Judge Brenda Penny is supposed to focus on numerous intersecting matters, including whether her father, James Jamie Spears, will remain a conservator of her $60 million fortune, whether her longtime court appointed lawyer will be allowed to quit, whether Jody Montgomery, the conservator of her person, will get enhanced security, and whether Brittany will get to hire her own lawyer to represent her. But the issue of most concern to Britney Spears and fans behind the hashtag Free Britney movement, whether she is freed from the onerous restrictions of a 13-year-old state-imposed guardianship, might not be decided at this hearing. To date, she still has not filed the formal legal document seeking to end her conservatorship, as required. And during her impassioned June 23rd court oration, she declared she won't tolerate another medical assessment, also required. Assessments are usually carried out by psychologists or psychiatrists, and their reports to the judge are confidential, says Harry Nelson, of Los Angeles healthcare law firm Nelson Hardiman. She can refuse, Nelson said, but the judge could cite that refusal as a factor in potentially ruling against Britney's desire to end the conservatorship. Read Britney Spears' full statement from her conservatorship hearing. Britney Spears is expected to dial in remotely, but the hearing will not be similarly accessible to the media or to the public, after the June 23 hearing was illegally live-streamed in violation of the judge's orders. Here's what could come up at Wednesday's hearing. The fate of Britney Spears' father as conservator and her lawyer Samuel Lingham III. Britney Spears, 39, wants her father gone from the conservatorship, accusing him and his co-conservators of being abusive. She also resents having to foot the bill for her father's high legal and public relations costs as he fights to keep his role as co-conservator of her finances. Her father's legal team is expected to present his latest accounting of her finances, which he has helped build to its present state. She hasn't worked since 2019 after abruptly suspending her Las Vegas residency. but advises against co-conservator security request. Judge denies Britney Spears' request to remove father from conservatorship, for now. Ingham, Britney Spears' lawyer, who has represented her from the early months of her conservatorship, asked to resign that post July 7, following the June hearing when she claimed he had never told her she could seek to terminate the conservatorship. Judge Penny has to approve his request to quit. Will Britney Spears get to choose her own lawyer? The ACLU weighs in.
Under California law, conservatees are not automatically entitled to appoint their own lawyers because they can't make any personal or financial decisions such as signing a contract with a lawyer, says Nima Romani, a former federal prosecutor in Los Angeles. Thus, he says, conservatees must get approval from from their conservators or the court to hire a lawyer to fight their conservatorship. Britney Spears' mom Lynn speaks out after longtime lawyer asks to quit in conservatorship case. On Sunday, DMZ and The New York Times reported that she wants to hire former federal prosecutor Matthew Rosengart, a high-profile litigator who has represented the likes of Steven Spielberg, Sean Penn, and Ben Affleck. He is expected to be in court. Rosengart did not return a call from USA Today. Will Britney Spears' dramatic testimony affect other cases, laws on conservatorship? The American Civil Liberties Union, which has long campaigned against California conservatorships as too easy to impose and difficult to escape, filed a friend of the court brief late Monday, along with 25 civil and disability organizations, arguing that Britney should be able to pick her own lawyer under the Sixth Amendment right to counsel. The court must recognize Spears's autonomy and the rights of people with disabilities to live independent, self-directed lives as active members of their communities, Zoe Brennan Crone an attorney with the Disability Rights Project of the ACLU, said in a statement posted on the ACLU website. The civil rights organization also petitioned the court to serve as a neutral advisor to Spears. Legal experts says her case file suggests answers. Britney Spears called 911 to report abuse a day before her shocking testimony, New Yorker says.